Peggy 12. On June 28th, 1985, I played Spy Hunter at the third annual Masters Tournament, which was a Guinness Book Tournament. I played the game for 12 hours straight on one quarter. I found out later on that it was good enough for the Guinness Book and I was published. The game was, you know, just fascinating. Everybody just, there was crowds around it. That's one game that I was drawn to. I think it's, um, it just allowed things to be faster. It allowed to, to, to experiment, you know, putting guns and other sorts of things on cars. Spy Hunter was definitely one of the most challenging video games. For starters, I think you only had about three men for 25 cents. And it was real hard, you know, I mean, the game was non-stop. You pretty much were working. You couldn't take your eyes off the machine for even two seconds. I think it was just different than what they had in the past, you know. It wasn't a, a maze game like Pac-Man. People were looking for unique games that simulated real life. And this was one of them that did that very well. You're talking about the very first game ever being a driving shooting game. How did that not shape video games? People love it whenever you can combine two different things that are awesome, AKA driving fast and shooting guns. So any game that you can do both of those is gonna be a win. You have to develop patterns and strategies uh, for, for the enemies, and you have to find out their characteristics and break it down. And it was a thinking game. The game design was simple and easy to, to learn, but hard to master. I mean, atmosphere of arcades is something kids probably don't know. It's a very dirty place. It's kind of like a nightclub for kids. All the girls were there, all the guys were there. I mean, if you weren't in the arcade, you're kind of a square, you know. It was, it was, you were a superstar if you were good at a game. 